The purpose of this homework video is to really help you study for your vocabulary quiz that's coming up. So as we work through each of these sentences with the blanks, I tried to design it very similar to the way that the questions will be asked on the test, which will be um, a close act where you need to fill in the blanks with the correct um, word from a word bank. So let's, let's talk through them. Um, and I put two or three blanks in a sentence to kind of um, stretch our brains a little bit. But using context clues is, is going to be the way to go. So let's go ahead and look at this first sentence together. Think through it. The representatives blank to find a solution to the blank about traffic laws. So thinking through what blanks are there, the first blank is definitely going to be an action word. The representatives did something to find a solution to. So which of those words down in the word bank would be an action word? Okay, looking at the word ratify, we know that means to approve or to give a formal permission to. So that's an action word. What about the word compromised? Is compromised an action word? Yes. And normally, um, words that end in ed are a form of a verb. So they're a form of an action word. Keep in mind that a compromise is a way of reaching an agreement in which each person or group gives up something that was wanted. So looking at which one's better, ratified or compromised, think about what comes after the blank. The representatives blank to find a solution. Did they ratify to find a solution? Or did they compromise to find a solution? I'm sensing that they compromised to find a solution. Oftentimes you have to meet someone halfway to find a solution to the blank about traffic laws. To the what? To the federal? No, federal would be an adjective to the unanimous about traffic laws doesn't make any sense. So what needs to go in the blank is most likely a noun, a thing. Predominantly would be an adverb that would not fit, but legislation would fit. So think about this to, together with using these ideas. The representatives compromised to find a solution to the legislation about traffic laws. So working through that sentence, we had to use the context clues and use what we knew about what those vocab terms meant. Sentence. The blank is made up of 538 delegates from the 50 states and Washington, D.C. that elect the chief blank of the government. All right, so let's look at the first one. Obviously, 538 delegates from the 50 states in Washington, D.C. is a group. It's a group of people. Which vocabulary word are you familiar with that is a group of people? And mind you, it's not in your word bank. It's going to be from your sort. That's right. It's the Electoral College. Remember, the Electoral College is that group of people who officially elects the President of the United States, and their, ha their vote happens after the popular vote. So there they are. There's that group of people, the Electoral College. Now, knowing what they are, they elect the chief what? Well, we know they elect the chief president, but what's another way of saying president? That would be... Again, it's not in the word bank. What would it be? The chief what? The executive. The chief executive would be the president and all of that branch of government that carries out the law. So the executive branch would work. Okay. I don't know if executive is in your... Oh, yes, it is. Having the power to put plans, actions, or laws into effect. And then the blank government. Obviously, I'm giving you a hint with the star in the United States. 
what government. It's not going to be the state government. It's not going to be a judiciary government or a minimum government. It's going to be a federal government. The federal government of the United States is the national government. Keep in mind that federal would be a synonym to national. So the Electoral College is made up of 538 delegates from the 50 states in Washington, D.C. that elect the chief executive of the federal government. Okay, we're going to the next sentence, and I'm pretty sure that the word bank here um, will help you this time. The blank system in the United States blank interprets and applies the blank laws. Okay, so we've got a few clues in here. We kind of have to be detectives to determine what words are going to fit in here based on these context clues. The blank system. So we're looking for a system in the United States, all right? The commerce system, all right? The buying and selling of stuff, that would work. The judiciary system, okay? That would be um, the judges, the group of judges in the United States, that would work. The federal system, okay? The national system, that would work. The unanimous system, probably not the word we're looking for. Predominantly system, no. Legislation system, maybe. Okay, so we've got a bunch of words except for predominantly and probably not unanimous that would fit in that blank. Interprets and applies the blank laws. Okay, what do we know about the three branches of government? Which one interprets and applies the laws? That's right, the judiciary branch. Okay, so the judiciary, what if we put it in the blank? The judiciary system in the United States blank interprets and applies the blank laws. Okay, that would work. It would not work if I said the, the federal system in the United States judiciary interprets and applies the laws. That would, that would sound kind of strange. So I'm thinking that the word that goes in the first blank would be judiciary. But which of those words would go right in front of two verbs? Interprets and applies are both verbs. They're action words. So we're going to want a word that describes verbs to go right before it. Okay? I'm looking at the word predominantly. Predominantly would go right in front of the word interprets and applies. And remember, predominantly means mainly or most of. You can see that pie chart. The predominant portion of that pie chart is blue. And then what kind of laws? Well, think about uh, an adjective, something that would talk about what kind of laws. And I would say those that cover the whole United States. So again, the word federal could be used here. The judiciary system in the United States predominantly interprets and applies the federal law. Okay, next sentence. The delegates to Congress wrote about the blank decision to create the paper blank to support the American army. So let's go ahead and look at those context clues that would go best in that particular sentence. The delegates to Congress wrote about the what decision to create the paper blank to support the American army. Look at the words that are in the word bank. I think they will help you again this time. Let's go ahead and try different words and see what fits. The delegates to Congress wrote about the minimum decision. Nah, not feeling it. Wrote about the federal decision. Okay, that could work. Wrote about the unanimous decision. Oftentimes, unanimous decisions um, are when everyone agrees, so that would work. The currency decision. Nah. The legislation decision, it's not fitting. So I'm going with either federal or unanimous there. To create the paper blank to support the American army. Okay, so paper is definitely describing the next word. And the next word needs to be a noun because it's a thing. It's something that supports the American army. So looking at these words, these five different options, which one would go in the blank that could be described with paper and that its purpose might be to support the American Army? Paper legislation, that could work. Or paper currency, what is currency? Well, it's money. 
Do we have paper money in the United States? Yes. Does that sometimes support the American army? Absolutely. So I'm thinking the first, the first blank would definitely be something that would make a, a, a describe a decision. And we're thinking that that would be unanimous. Wrote about the unanimous decision to create the paper currency to support the American army. All right, let's go ahead and a blank of three-fourths of the states must blank and blank to the Constitution. Okay. So we have a couple clues here. Uh, looking at the context, we have three-fourths of the states. What do we know about three-fourths of the states that we've been learning about? Well, we know that three-fourths of the state have to ratify something to a uh, change to the Constitution. So I'm thinking that the middle blank, the third blank, would be ratify. And sure enough, there it is in our word bank. So ratify. We got rid of that. So what would go in the blank? A blank of three-fourths. A compromise of three-fourths? Maybe. A federal of three-fourths? Definitely not. A impose? No. A minimum of three-fourths. Wait a minute. That's exactly what we've been talking about. You can have more than three-fourths vote to ratify a change in the Constitution, but the minimum the very least that you can have, where the blue mark is on that thermometer, is the minimum that must ratify a blank to the Constitution. Now, I keep saying the word change, but which word in there is the official change to the Constitution? We know it starts with a vowel, obviously, because we have the little article an in front of it. And so we can go ahead and put in the word amendments. So a minimum of three-fourths of the states must ratify an amendment to the Constitution. Okay, moving on to our next sentence. After I push the The blank department is in charge of blank laws that encourage the buying and selling in the United States. Okay, it's a huge clue there, buying and selling. Which of those words from word banks has to do with buying and selling? I hope you said commerce. So knowing about that, we know that we have to do with commerce. Could commerce go in the first blank or the second blank? Let's go ahead and experiment. The commerce department is in charge of commerce laws that encourage the buying and selling in the United States. You know what? Commerce could fit in both of those blanks. But I'm thinking that we're actually talking about the department in charge of buying and selling, so we're going to call that the commerce department. And then um, is in charge of blank laws. We could put commerce laws again. We could put federal laws. Amending laws doesn't really fit. Imposing laws might work. Remember, impose means to force. Legislation laws would not work. Amendment laws would not work. I'm thinking the best one would be to impose or to control or to force. The Commerce Department is in charge of imposing laws that encourage the buying and selling in the United States. Pretty sure we have just one more left. Congress has blank decided to blank blank that changes the age students must attend kindergarten. All right, very few context clues here, but we do have a decision being made, and the decision is an action. Congress has blank decided. Hmm. We want a word that describes an action word, a verb. Notice that all, m most adverbs actually end in L-Y. So which word actually has the L-Y on the end that would go really well next to decided? Yep, unanimously. So let's go with that. Congress has unanimously decided to, that means everyone's in agreement, to do what? So we definitely need an action word there. I did this on purpose. There's only one action word in your word bank. It's the only verb there. Yep, it's the word revise. So Congress has decided, has unanimously decided to revise blank that changes the age students must attend kindergarten. Okay, so what are they changing? That has to be a something, a noun. They've decided to revise minimum? No. Currency? 
Very rarely do we revise currency. Legislation, hmm, a group of laws. That's exactly what it is. So Congress has unanimously decided to revise legislation that changes the age students must start in. Use the following to study. Keep in mind that you have all of these things available to you, and they're downloadable from our websites. Your vo the vocabulary video that introduced the vocabulary and the sort, the vocabulary sort with definitions, pictures, and example sentences, and go back and find your pretest. Your pretest also has exceptional um, study tools. Go ahead and cover those up and use those blanks to help you study.